Did you know that in seahorses, it's the male who carries and gives birth to the young? This unique role reversal involves the female transferring her eggs into a specialized brood pouch on the male's body, where he fertilizes and nurtures them until they are ready to hatch. Join us as we dive into the world of these fascinating ocean creatures. Seahorses, scientifically classified within the genus Hippocampus and part of the Synglethidae family, which includes pipefish and leafy sea dragons, are unique marine animals with over 40 species varying in size, color and habitat. Known for their upright posture and horse-like head, seahorses exhibit remarkable reproductive strategies, developmental stages and ecological roles. Seahorse reproduction is notable for its role reversal where males carry and give birth to young. During courtship, males and females engage in synchronized movements, color changes and tail holding to establish pair bonds, as seahorses are generally monogamous. During mating, the female deposits her eggs into the male's brood pouch. The male fertilizes these eggs as they enter the pouch, where they embed into the lining and receive nutrients, oxygen and protection similar to a mammalian placenta. Depending on the species, gestation within the pouch lasts two to four weeks. After the gestation period, the male undergoes contractions to expel fully developed young known as fry. This process can last hours, with the male releasing anywhere from 50 to 1,500 fry at once. After birth, the fry are entirely independent, facing immediate survival challenges with no parental care. Due to high mortality rates, only about 1% of fry reach adulthood, balanced by the high number of offspring per brood. Seahorse fry start life as plankton, drifting with currents and feeding on microscopic organisms. Their small size and limited mobility make them highly susceptible to predation from various marine animals. However, even at this stage, they possess prehensile tails, enabling them to anchor to floating objects, offering some shelter and energy conservation. As they grow, fry develop stronger swimming abilities, aided by a dorsal fin that allows rapid propulsion. As seahorses transition from fry to juveniles, they begin resembling adults more closely in shape and coloration. Juveniles shift from a planktonic to a benthic lifestyle, moving towards seagrass beds, coral reefs or mangroves for shelter and food. They are carnivorous, feeding on small crustaceans, plankton and other tiny marine organisms. Using a unique feeding method known as pivot feeding, they rapidly suck prey into their mouths. Juveniles have high caloric needs, consuming up to 3,000 tiny organisms daily to support their rapid growth. Seahorses typically reach sexual maturity between 4 and 12 months, depending on species and environmental conditions. During this period, physical changes, including size increase and color adaptations, help them blend into their surroundings. They also begin displaying social behaviors and courtship rituals essential for monogamous bonding and reproductive synchronization. Mature seahorses establish territories in their preferred habitats, which may include seagrass beds, coral reefs, or mangroves. Camouflage plays a crucial role in their survival, as they use color and texture to blend with their surroundings, compensating for their limited swimming abilities. Their sit-and-wait hunting strategy allows them to conserve energy by ambushing prey as it drifts past, aligning with their low metabolic rate. In stable environments with adequate resources, adult seahorses enter their reproductive phase. Daily courtship rituals reinforce bonds between mates involving synchronized swimming, tail holding and color displays. The male's brood pouch provides a controlled environment for embryo development, enhancing offspring survival. This unique reproductive strategy offers an evolutionary advantage, as the controlled brood pouch environment improves the chances of offspring survival. Seahorses play an essential role in maintaining healthy marine ecosystems. As both predators and prey, they contribute to the balance of the food web by feeding on small crustaceans and plankton, helping to control populations of these organisms. This in turn supports the overall health of seagrass beds, coral reefs and mangrove habitats where they reside. Seahorses also serve as prey for larger marine species, making them a crucial link in the oceanic food chain. Moreover, seahorses are considered indicator species, meaning that their presence and health can reflect the condition of their habitat.
A decline in seahorse populations often signals broader environmental issues such as pollution, habitat degradation or overfishing. Protecting seahorses and their habitats benefits countless other marine species and supports biodiversity, illustrating the interconnectedness of marine life. Their vulnerability is exacerbated by demand in traditional medicine and the aquarium trade. Conservation efforts, including marine protected areas and sustainable fishing practices, are crucial to preserving seahorse populations. Seahorses' life cycle reflects their adaptability and resilience with specialized reproductive and survival strategies highlighting the complexity of marine ecosystems. Conservation efforts are vital for ensuring their continued survival allowing these unique creatures to thrive and play their role in the ocean's biodiversity. Please subscribe and follow us for more exciting animal adventures. Thank you for watching. See you next time.